All right, welcome back, everybody. Well, as a child, she never imagined that one day she would end up in Pittsburgh, but when she did, it changed her life. She's now a thriving visionary in Western PA who just opened her biggest solo art exhibit to date. Well, Mikey Hood is at Space Gallery in the Cultural District, and we understand that this artist's story is definitely going to inspire all of us. Good morning, Mikey. Good morning, Heather David. You're absolutely right. The Space Gallery, they hold about four to five exhibits throughout the year. They're always thought provoking, always so creative. This one is no different. It's called Deaf Brown American Mom. And the deaf artist is Fran Flaherty. And she is here with me this morning. And she's with her interpreter, Charity Fran. Good morning. Good, good morning. Hi. Yeah, so tell us what this um, exhibit is all about. It's, it's really about your life. Yes, especially over the last five years, um, someone had come into the exhibit, um, Christiana Dolores, and said to me, I feel like I'm walking into your brain. And this it's true. Everything that's in this exhibit has been percolating in my brain for the last five or six years. Yeah, I never want anyone to walk into my brain. <laughs> so this is one of your uh, installations here. Tell us about this, because it looks like it really pays homage to Pittsburgh. I did um, Pittsburgh, my, my forever home. So this is a remake of a 2020 piece called Compass Roses Art, which was curated by Nadine Wasserman and Renee Pichocki for the 2023 Rivers Arts Festival. They asked about 20 artists to uh, create maps of Pittsburgh, and so I took an old 1855 J.H. Colton map and updated it with the streets, added some color, um, and that's what I've applied here. So, And I created a scavenger hunt with it. So. This was right after we were opening, after the first lockdown, mm -hmm. and I wanted a way for people to go out and, you know, enjoy Pittsburgh again. And so I put these little love sculptures all over Pittsburgh that corresponded with a love story oh. and um, got people to go out and look for them. Oh, I'm going to put my own very love story right here, right over KDKA. Yay. Oh, it's kind of falling over here, and I'm going to write... Love PTL, if my pen was working. But I'll come back. We'll do that a little <laughs> okay. bit later. But let's head to another one of your exhibits. And really, this whole space belongs to you. Yeah. Well, yes. Um, but I didn't do it myself. I had a lot of help. Yeah. I need to shout out to my assistant, Ada Bosonetto. Shout out to your assistant. Okay, so this is another installation here. Mm -hmm. So this is a branch of my practice that deals a lot with disability aesthetics and disability advocacy. Um, and so you have a lot of ASL art over here, but in particular, I wanna show you this installation that are, is basically placed all over the gallery. It's called Invisible Disabilities, and they are um, words cut out with um, disabilities that we don't normally, that are not apparent. So it's about, um, seeing people more, uh, noticing people more, caring about people more, but it's also about giving agency to people with disabilities to um, be able to express their disabilities. Yeah, and, and this work is called Deaf Brown American Mom. You represent all of those things, but funny story, you sub tell us about ketchup, because ketchup plays an important role in your life. Yes, so McDonald's, I'm, I'm from the Philippines, yeah. and I grew up um, in the 80s where McDonald's had just opened up and it was very, very popular and we would go and I would see these ketchup packets with the um, with Heinz on them. I had no idea. Heinz, Pittsburgh, PA, who knew? To me it was just ketchup. And then I moved to Pittsburgh and I didn't realize how significant the name Heinz would be in my life. See, friend, it all comes together. <laughs> Death Brown, American Mom, is here on display at the Space Gallery through May 15th. You gotta get here. It's amazing here. Heather, David? It's and, really neat. Yeah, and Mikey, we need to get you a working pen because we want PTL Love to be on that map. We want to be on the map. All right. Thanks, Mikey, I'm really. Gonna, I'm gonna go work on it right now. Okay, okay good. good. Yeah. I love how interactive things are, even with the words. You know, being exactly. able to hold that and just visualize it sometimes can make you a little bit more aware of, you know, how sometimes we don't mean to be, but we can be insensitive to other people's 
invisible disabilities. Right. And whenever it's right. interactive like that, I think it makes a bigger impact. Yes, sure. absolutely. I'm so glad we were able to get there today. We also want to let you know, in addition to all of this, the Cultural Trust has some new modified protocols regarding masks and vac vaccination requirements for their shows and exhibits. Some shows will still mm -hmm. require masks and proof of vaccination. Some will not. So we have a link on our website to those new guidelines. Yeah, and in fact, that's just coming out today. Yeah. And the galleries are open year round. They are free and open to the public. Deaf Brown American Mom runs through May 15th and you can find out more info at our website pittsburghtodaylive.com